You're rocking with the Meet the Neighbors podcast, powered by Rents Due Entertainment Co. Hit record. We good? <laughs> See you, senor. We're recording. Take two. What we doing oh, over there? I'm Italian. Get a pair. Yes, a yes. shoes. We back at it again, man. Who's who's? I'll give you a cue, Shamar. Everybody feeling good? You got the blue. You're blues. vibing, man. Feeling good. You got the boy Chase in the building. Yo. Feel me? We, got we here, Meet man. the Neighbors Podcast, yeah. episode yeah. 14. Hey. Hey. Go let this hey. beat ride out a little bit. Shout out to uh, Tony Supreme. Straight All out right. of where? Baltimore. Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore, I love how fast there's a D in there. There's no, T, there's no T in Baltimore. It nah. really ain't, bro. Nah, B- Baltimore. L-D. Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Shout out to Tony Supreme. I love this beat, man. I feel like the beat gets gets us going yeah, a little bit before we start record, uh, recording. Little vibe, I ain't gonna lie. Absolutely. Sir. Uh. All uh. right, man. Let's get into some shit. Uh. Meet the neighbors uh. podcast, episode fourteen. Fourteen. Powered by Rents Do Entertainment Co. <laughs> it's another beautiful <laughs> Monday <laughs> night. We are back here live at our headquarters, Galaxy Tinning. It's your boy Greeny. To my left, as always, it's Fats the King, bro. I you got behind know, the boards. You already know it's your boy Trap. Yes, yes. So behind the RDF. mic, we got the homies with us. Samara behind the lens. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Our girl Pamela. Hey. We got Pam, behind the Pam mic. came back, y'all. Give it up for Pam. Pam came back hey, for a second Pam. episode. Pam came back. And we got her sister, Jasmine, over here chilling, rolling up the doinks. Damn. She on her phone. She high. She vibing. How everybody feeling, though? Everybody had a good weekend? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, weekend was good. Yeah. Busy. I recently went to the Dolphins game yesterday. Dolphins hold had hold a W hold yesterday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 30 to 0. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Joke, no, joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The disrespect, the disrespect, the disrespect. We got our very special guest in the motherfucking building. Chase from What Matters. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Let's go, man. Chase, what, what yeah. matters, man? Nah, keep it rocking. I humbly apologize we, 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 to we, our we, boy. We, we know we he's we my we boy. I think it's because he played the Jets yesterday. That's why I'm really feeling Chase right now. This is my favorite yesterday. Dolphins fan, you know? <laughs> man, you know, listen. He's my favorite Dolphins fan. I told fan. Chase when I met him, I was like, the only thing I don't like about you is that you're a Jets fan. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else like a, everything else is be solid as fuck. I was about to say, it's kind of admirable to be a Jets fan. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard. It's definitely hard, you know. Trying time. You know, I'm from Carolina, so, you know, the Panthers got their second win of the season yesterday. Well, you been jumped off that bandwagon. Yeah, but I'm not Jump yeah. Shit. yeah, but you know, I he still wish I still wish the best for him. But look back. Yeah, yeah, looking bad. but I am a but I am a fan for sure. Yeah, fan. So how everybody how's everybody's weekend, man? Like I said, I went to the Dolphins game. Fast, what you get into this weekend? I chilled, man. I had to work a little bit. I relaxed. Took it easy. I, I, I chilled. Listen to some music. Listen to some new music. Jay, so what you, you get into? Um, made a couple designs. You know, my homeboy Duke shot a little video. He got coming soon. God damn, shout um, out Duke OT. I saw yeah, that. Shout out Duke OT, man. Oh yeah. You know. Just chilling with the homies, you feel me? How'd that video go, man? I saw I saw a little bit on Instagram, um, the behind the scenes. And it all. was good, you know. He was going for like the Kill Bill type of vibe. So oh, like, word! Yeah, so like once it come out, see, that's excited a, to see that. That's one thing. I, working. That's one thing I always say about Duke is like with his visuals, he does have like a um, a direction he wants yeah. to go. Yes, like that yeah. one we did in here with uh, the scene from like from Friday, Friday, yeah. Yeah, or man. next uh, Friday after next. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what's gonna separate him, you know. A lot of mm-hmm. point and shoot, you know, like. Feel me? So he has a story to you know. Yeah. So it's gonna yeah, it's that's gonna what's hit up. every time. How was your weekend, chap? You Shit, recently started a new job, man. Yeah, it was good, man. Um, you was I, a little sick uh, last uh, week. Yeah, I w- like I said, I went. I went. Got you the know, cooties. I, I went. I went out of town for Thanksgiving, whatever. I came back with the cooties. You know, I was uh, started a new job or whatever, and then damn, boy, I got sick as hell. Fever like one hundred three. Yeesh. That's that shit going I, around. I had to miss the last episode, which, you know, I was kind of disappointed. We missed you. We missed you for sure. Yeah, yeah I was, yeah, I was I doing a whole bunch of extra <laughs> shit. Fats was doing everything. I know. Y'all was, y'all was still calling. I'm in the bed <laughs> late <laughs> on. Yeah, this is right, nigga. Yeah, but, no, nah, overall, everything's good, man. I'm, 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 I'm making some money. I'm happy where I'm at. And so, yeah. That's, that's good. good. That's good. Man. Pamela, how you living? You came back for your second episode. We're happy to have you. I'm back. Yeah. How you living? Um, good. I had a good weekend. Restful weekend. It rained, so I took advantage of that. Well, it didn't rain like shit. It didn't rain like shit. The weather was shit. The oh weather was be- absolutely beautiful today. It's probably yeah. one of the most beautiful days we've had all year. Yeah. I called out of work. Stayed home. <laughs> oh, shit. They're going to see this, too. Like sometimes. Fuck them. It's all right. Nah, but it was crazy, that weather. So I was, uh, I, was in, I was in the house. I was tired as hell. I was sleeping or, like, right about to fall asleep. And then these shutters just, like, slammed down. 
I had I ran outside and bro, it was it was fucking. You grab crazy. your gun. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, stay with that. Stay with that motherfucker. Got fuck it. is that? Got it on me. The fuck is that? I'm out there. Sh- I'm out there shooting the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Who out there? Hit a cat. <laughs> Who out there? Hey, what about you, Samar? You you had a you had probably the most exciting weekend out of all of us. Yeah, you was part of a, of a wedding. You were actually in the wedding. Yeah, I was you, in the wedding. Uh, he wasn't best man though, right? He wasn't best man. Nah, no, best man. He groomsman. I wish. There was a black best man though. So <laughs> okay. I'm not mad about okay. that. Okay. I am mad. You about said it was that. a bunch of Italians there. Yeah, mad Italians. From Italian New York wedding. to Italy itself. Did crazy. they all line Mad up and uh, give them a fucking envelope? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. They had a whole box full of envelopes. The they Italian wedding, like, bro. Hitting, bro. Yo, Mad it was bread. a great time. I think a new house. One of them. Food was good. Drinks were good. Did it remind you of Goodfellas or what are the Godfather? Mad cheese and pepperoni. Yo, one dude looked like Robert De Niro. I swear <laughs> to God, I thought it was him. The guy sitting in front of me. I was like, What yeah. do they serve? What happened? What did, what did they serve? Uh, so for. Pass arounds. I know it was like Sarah Ahi tuna on some shit. Oh, that's okay. fire. Uh, they had like meatballs. Like a tuna to taco shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to say they did like little small quesadillas with like guacamole on it, like little bite sized ones. Oh, okay. For dinner. Or not crazy. Yeah, it was for dinner. Yeah, for dinner, steak. Uh, I want to say like a chili glazed salmon. Ooh. And then like some Thai lemon chicken. I just told you I was. Oh, Shout out to your boy. Pick good some yeah, good no, wedding food. Right. Okay. Good wedding right. food. Right. Ain't, no, ain't nothing worse when you go to a I'm wedding and the lasagna food is ass, bro. Oh my god. We like yes. that banquet food. You could tell like that food. The food is just fucking terrible. You don't even want to eat, but you <laughs> drunk as fuck. So you, you gotta, gotta, gotta eat. eat that <laughs> shit. Give my meal. <laughs> so with that being said, where uh, where was it at? So we were staying in Coral Gables for the hotel. Okay, very nice. The venue was like 30, 40 minutes away. Jeez. In Miami? In the middle of, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, I felt like. It's, so like, it was south of, of Coral Gables? Yeah. Or, or so like southwest kind of? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it was so. like, we're driving through and nothing but trees. But then when you pull into the venue, they had like the dock. They had the water. They had a big ass sign that said love with lights on it. I was oh, like, damn, Mikey did it right. My oh, boy so did you, it right. So about shout out to you, Mikey and Meg. I about to say, they got some money, huh? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> shit. He gave me all my financial Especially advice. Especially right now in this economy, man. Getting married right now, whew, you got to have the bag with you. <laughs> nah, that was Weddings crazy. ain't cheap, bro. Bags oh, but together. it was my first wedding, so I was happy. Well, that's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Well, shit, man. Let's talk about some shit, man. A lot of been going on in the music industry. A lot of been going on in the world. Uh... Kanye been running around. He was in Miami. He was in Vegas doing, doing some of his uh, his uh, uh, Vulture. Is the album called Vultures? I think the album is called Vulture. Called Vultures. He released a single If there is an album. There's an album. The track list is out there. There is a track uh, list. Put it back but up. was he playing any of these songs at his album release party? Uh-huh. These parties? So the, okay, yeah, so the songs he, are made. He had his daughter. Uh, okay, the songs are made. The al- there's, there's an album list. There's an album is title. That, is that everybody's song still on there? Because I've seen that um, they didn't clear the sample. Oh, with the Backstreet Boys I or whatever. That's probably why they took it down because he mm. probably wanted the song. I didn't see that. So what y'all thinking, man? Let's start. This, the that first song question is uh, fucking sucks. Are, uh, so I have a you question. think it sucks? That song sucks. Do you think right now it sucks? Oh my so you're not God. excited Everybody, to hear that album? That shit sucks. Oh, bro. that one. I didn't even God, hear that, that shit one. Shit is ass. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Vulture song. That? So with that said, are you excited to hear the album? I have no expectations. No expectations. That's oh, it. Man. Nigga Kanye walking around looking like a goddamn ninja. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> shoes I think you were talking about before in the last episode. What the, shoes? The, the Toms. They look like that's what they look like. Toms. Yo, yo. They look like, like Toms. Like, they look like yeah, Toms. Like, the shoes socks you're wearing, they look with, like fucking karate shoes. Or something. I don't know what the fuck they, they look like. Show enough. Uh, yeah, it's like that Assassin's Creed type shit. Like. This nigga out here, man. What the fuck, man? I don't. I, I I have so much going on in my mind about what I feel like Kanye is doing right now. All right, so I'm going to start with I love question. him so much, though. So. Do you guys think that his rant help or hurt his rollout? Help. So stu- Why? Why? So stupid. Um, Because it's we're talking about it. We're talking about it because it's music shit, but do you think it actually helps his his rollout? Yeah, because we're talking about yeah, it. I mean, and, and he's Kanye, so he's, he's a staple. He's always made... Like his production is just unmatched. I think like you can't take just because you go on a rant. That doesn't mean you can take away his music, you know, talent. So, see, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go other side. Me personally, when I woke up and I saw that shit, and I put it in the group chat. I I thought the same thing as before. Like here we go again. Like here we go again. Kanye's off the shits again. He's talking the crazy shit again. You know can't what I mean? My kids. And I definitely appreciate. I always appreciate kids, his, his his insight and the way he be able to, he's able to talk about his opinions. But it's like, bro, what are you talking about? Sometimes it's like it's like, what are you really talking about? Sometimes for me, it Who makes me there? it makes me not want to hear that. Like uh, it makes me less excited for the album. Are you gonna listen to the album? Of course, we're gonna okay, We gotta so, talk about it. We gotta right. talk about People it. We're gonna listen to the album. But as a Kanye fan, I'm not really excited for it. I haven't really been excited for a Kanye album in a while. 
To be honest with you, I'm, I'm gonna listen to it. We, you know, we were thinking about going to the outlet. We probably would have been at the Vulture shit if it wasn't fucking two hundred dollars. You see how much you know he was charging for Vegas? I didn't see, it, but I'm sure it was more. How much? Two grand oh, yeah. for general <laughs> admission. <laughs> and it came with some merch. What the fuck, <laughs> yay? It came with some merch. Oh, like three t-shirts. Yeah, it came with merch. I seen Yes Jules. I posted that shit. It's like for me, yo. Like don't pull up. Don't pull up around the way. And don't come to the little, 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 the, the, the black business, the little, little Jamaican spot he came to, and mm-hmm. you vibing with the people and shit. And then you charge us. And then the minute you fucking turn, you, you. Wow. And also back when you said in the group in chat. The fucking. He's a capitalist. The capitalist shit. It's like you, Fuck, pop, you pop up, you pop up when you, it's like, we know Kanye, don't eat, Kanye doesn't eat bread, but it's like, when you I pop up, Kanye. it's like, it's like requires us to break our banks now because you pop up. Yeah. And it's $200 like, socks, man. And they pre-orders. <laughs> You probably waiting eight months for them bitches. And dog. a lot of people going to talk for a while. Yeah, a lot of people going to say, "Oh, two hundred dollars ain't shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You broke. I don't want to hear that. Like two hundred dollars in this type of economy, bro. That is too much for Kanye to Nigga, fucking I ain't pop up. Two hundred dollars for socks. Require his fans to fucking pay that money for that shit. That's I can go much. to the hospital and get a pair of the motherfucking <laughs> socks, nigga. Hey, and them non-slip <laughs> ones too. <laughs> what niggas talking about, man? <laughs> Those are non-slip socks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we? Two hundred dollars. I ain't about to be no ninja. I ain't creeping <laughs> up on niggas. And they're always the ugliest colors too. Man, I had shit. some. I, I I had some red ones. I don't know. I forgot what I was in the hospital for, but I had some red ones. And man, you I felt like forever. Man, they're the nah, grippers. The yeah. grippers. They, 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 <laughs> hey, they come in handy. You the know grippers. what I'm talking about? <laughs> they hit them grippers. Right. Fast. What do you think? Though you didn't answer the question. Do you think what? the man's help or the, or man, hurt the album? It's gonna help because it's Kanye West. People are gonna listen to it. Cause but they you want to listen to it. Has to make you feel personally. Me personally, I fucking hate it, man. I had a debate with my homeboy the other day. Not a debate, a conversation. And I was just like, man, what the fuck? And he's like, yo, it, it kind of gets to the point where you got to, you, you, you have to accept these artists. For who they are. For who they are. Uh, but as we get older, I just start to see a trend and a pattern with the behavior and the bullshit. And I'd be like, bro, are you, are you fucked? You doing it for us or you doing this for you? And I like that point because I like that point a lot. Because it's like if you're gonna, if you got if we got to respect them for who they are, then as fans, we can rightfully be like, bro, I ain't fucking with it. Like I'm, I'm just not excited for this shit no more. So, I'm not excited for really anything you I do forgot, anymore. Like, so, so on that, I forgot. Well, actually, first, Chase, are you, what do you think about that? Um, I mean, it's publicity is publicity. Right? Exactly, like, that's how I feel. He's, I, f- I honestly feel like in the back of my mind, like I know Kanye, he's kind of like talk to the mic a little bit more. You know, he's kind of like walkie. You feel me? So it's like I don't know, but in the back of my mind, it's like, is he doing this on purpose? You know, Sometimes, he is. Like, yeah, in my opinion, he is, bro. He's gotta be. So, he's gotta be. You know, so but see, you can say that about a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah it that, you can say a lot because you can say that yeah. about um, Doja Cat. Oh mm-hmm. yes, a lot of people kind of feel like. That she, Where her she, antics she, and shit. She plays on the whole Illuminati demonic thing, mm. just off the strength of. So I read. I don't know where I heard it or read it, but um, I did see something, and it was just about artists in general and how they make their art, and it goes back to like you. You kind of reminded me of it when you said, like, are you doing it for you or for us? And and at the end of the day, I feel, I believe that when you're creating art. You know, you are doing it from, it comes from you. It is for you. And, and you know, obviously, you're, you're, uh, the people that's going to be consuming it, you know, Back. they enjoy it. But I think, you know, just because he goes on a rant, you know, we don't have to agree with everything. But Not that, fair. but, but the craft and the product, you know, is still, you, is undeniably great. But I'm saying, but like, I just feel like it gets to the part with the, bad, it gets to the part with the antics or just over the, it's. It, I but feel what like if they're not antics, antics? Are writing, or, or more than his, more than his craft? The shit he's doing to me is just overlooking the, that. overlooking the, the art at this point. Yeah, because now I'm not. Because then you're gonna have, you're gonna have people that want to listen because they want to know what Kanye's gonna say. You have people that never knew who the fuck Kanye was or didn't even care, but because of the things that the rant. Mm-hmm. Now I'm curious, or now I'm gonna listen, or now I'm turned off and not gonna listen, or, or now I'm turned off. But for me, the whole, just the whole fucking. Atmosphere for me was just like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? When I seen Natalie Nunn's chin in one of the fucking frames, <laughs> who the fuck is Natalie, Natalie, Natalie Nunn? Nunn? She's one. I of heard these, the name before. Um, she? Oh, she was on Bad Girls Club, and she got this little show called Baddies. They be on Juice and shit. She's an actor. Plugs. Uh, no, they just oh, like reality TV. Reality TV oh, turned up, and um, <laughs> all of them was in there. And I'm like, yo, you out here talking this shit to who? 
To who? Exactly, bro. <laughs> like, and you got the engineer there. You you recording. You want niggas to be quiet. You, who the fuck are you talking to? These little bitches don't care. They don't care. They I'm around right. Kanye. They just there to be around Kanye. Is it? That's fact, so. So who you making this music for, though, man, at the end of the day, though? Cause well, I just think, so. I just want another Watch the Throne, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just had to put that no, out there. No, I, I can, I can it, see but. that, too. But I feel like when I hear Kanye's albums, I almost feel like it's a movie because just of the production and the, the highs and the lows and the. Oh, I mean, we're not and arguing. The, and, the, you know, and the production, cha- the changes in the productions. Like, I know the music's going to be awesome. Because that song that you said that everybody won with um the, the sample or whatever that he didn't get cleared. I heard, I heard where it was kind of corny that everybody at the beginning, but I know it's about to drop, <laughs> and it's something dropped. crazy. That beat, was ass, but that beat did drop. It did, and the beat was ass. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching them on the shit. They forcing people to get with it. No, that shit ass, yay. I feel with a lot of the music, they're forcing a lot of samples. Like that shit samples, ass, fam. You, know, you trying to get many. Nicki to to, to clear a song? Yeah. Try to get Nikki to clear a song that was fucking. She said no. Three, four years old. You forcing shit. Yeah. You wasn't even rapping about none of this stuff a year ago. Your album was clean. Now you titties and shit again. Oh, I love Kanye, <laughs> but yo, he fucking. So he has a lot of like anti-Semitic stuff that he rants about. Do you guys think that's gonna be in the music as well, or he's just Ooh. doing it for publicity? What makes it anti-Semitic? I don't know. I just hear everyone going up and up. See, that's the, I that's the bullshit. <laughs> that's the bullshit. I mean, the recent, the recent, the recent. I don't listen to him. I don't like his, like, why are you, why are you He doing? just says that Jewish people run shit and they got bread. Which is. That ain't anti-Semitic. They were saying his, they were saying his last like, no. rant was anti-Semitic. Well, I don't, I, I didn't hear anything that, that made it feel anti-Semitic. The right. last rant in Vegas. I just felt like he was just calling out Jewish people, all the rich Jewish people by name. Maybe the other rants were he did have. I know the other shit was anti-Semitic, but the most recent rant to me, it didn't really sound anti-Semitic. Like right. he was At really all. just but naming what I'm is, all the rich people in the world. All the rich people in the world. I can't be anti-Semitic. No. Uh, in his music, or he's just using well, it for. I think he's gonna address publicity. Th- I see no, him addressing I, it. I yeah, see him addressing it for I sure. Think, I think he's gonna address some things. Because I feel like he only like talks about these random things when if you it's go time back, to promote and it's like but not well, but if you go back you and listen good music why do you have to promote? i mean this will be the first album he's dropped since the whole anti-semitic semitism shit has happened right this is the first one since yeah, yeah. but so, if you go back and listen to all of kanye's Don old Don shit Don he addressed the, he addressed the flaws in the industry he addressed everything his whole career as a rapper he has addressed shit that he did not personally like or right. agree with so i think to answer your question, yes, I don't, I don't think it's anti-Semitic, but no, I, I think he's think gonna so address I'm just some saying, shit like, that's is going he on. Rap about the same like industry stuff and like people. You rap about him not being able to see his kids and Kim yeah. and, the, and the and the babies. True. And I mean, North looked like she was having a great time on stage, mm-hmm. not having enough money. I don't know, man. I love Kanye. I love Kanye, and I'm gonna listen to the album, but I have no expectations. I don't know what's so You know what it is? You don't know what to expect. You know what it is? I'm saying it right here, right now on Wrench Dude Meet the Neighbors podcast. <sighs> <laughs> Kanye, you time. need to start dating black women, bruh. <laughs> you real. The last real one you had in your life, your mom. You ain't been the same since, bruh. Yeah. Just 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 dabbling and just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? You know, because this, this. What this is the last black woman he dated? Who is that it? Amber model. Rose, damn near. Like, well, she's half. Rose she ain't even. I was about to say, yeah. She black. Uh, ish. Barely, right? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> let her tell but she ain't, it. But, yeah. but they ain't. How yeah. you say this? They ain't, they ain't, no, they ain't yeah, grouping her yeah, with a black she woman. Got the, she got the complexion for the connection. You heard? Um, <laughs> Yo, that's she hilarious. She had that model. What was her name? Like a, well, this was like early Kanye when Kanye yeah, was still yeah, wearing yeah. polo like and shit. Yeah, I remember ever being with a Christine yeah. Million? We gotta fact check that one. I don't know. Hey, about that. damn, if he did though, shout out to him. I don't know about he that. Did. We gotta fact check that shit. one. He did. He's had a lot of Hispanic women. Nah, woman. he had dark skinned queens, but this was back when his mom was alive. I'm saying, but he's had a lot of Hispanic women. Like, um, definitely a bunch of white women. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Give it a black woman, man. See what but, happens. But to is a black woman putting up with Kanye? That's it. Listen, man. Listen, man. I, I be reading, I be, huh? 
I have a question for you. Go ahead. Before I leave yes, you would like him to date a black woman. But yeah. is, a, is a black woman going to put up with his bullshit? That's the thing. You feel what I'm saying? He, we don't know what space he's in if he's a... I know this we be assuming, but fuck it. We want to just hope he's in a space where the right person, help the him, right person, be like, "Hey, bullshit. bro, you you bugging," right. and he gonna listen. Or I don't know if he likes this whole. I want to dress you how I want to dress you. I want control you shit. Like this. Yeah, yeah. Well, that seems what that seems to be what he likes right now. All the body types look the yeah. same. You dress them all looking the same and shit. Like they don't look like they're having fun. No. They look like they're working. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying okay. like entourage type Black shit. Black one probably gonna go for that shit. But like, hey, nigga, what? Uh, uh-uh. what are we doing here? Yeah, yeah. But I don't even see. He like might not be able to handle that, and that's probably why he doesn't indulge in that. It don't even feel go like that way. It don't even yeah. feel like it's really with his girl. Like it don't even feel like they're really together. Yeah, they it feels like, like she just like a piece of, a of, of what he's like got going on. She's like an accessory. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. not even like there's no there's nothing there. She's just a, a, a prop person, yeah. right? With that round ass haircut nothing, she got, and she looked weird as shit. Yeah, I was just about to say football yeah. helmet. She the got body, bro. <laughs> well, I just, think they, they got divorced. Split. They didn't just break up. I don't Probably know just want to see an eye to eye. Yeah, I think it was just on some. Who? But she you was fucking up. up business, she was put man. up with his hey, shit for. Yeah, I'm sure ultimately, ultimately, shit on Hulu. I need to get the fuck out of here. Exactly what it was. He's like, you're fucking up the business way too much. Who? Kim's destiny. Mom, mom is probably like, what's her name? Chris. Chris. Chris like, uh, uh. We tried to work with this nigga. We can make that shit work with Tristan, but this shit, no, we gotta get you out of here. Tristan fell for, yeah. Tristan walking around with a whole new attitude. And the other nigga too. Um. Uh, like Lamar Odom before that? Not Lamar mm-hmm. Odom. I Travis Barker. Travis Barker that is married to um, Damn, Courtney. Scott. She, not Scott. Are we talking about the family? The one that's the one that's with Chris. The uh, black guy. The young black dude. I don't know his name. I don't know his Tip name. Tip of my Corey. tongue. He Corey knows. Corey G- Gambles. G- yeah. Gambles. I don't even know. Yeah about yeah, that. yeah yeah yeah. I think that's his name. That I whole Kardashian family just suspect, man. It's weird. Well, they all I don't got even, babies by black men, man. I don't even I don't even get it. It's weird. Like why y'all Corey Gamble have all black babies. And like and like they make it a duty. Everybody but everybody but Courtney. That's why I always love Courtney. She just stayed true like to herself. Type <laughs> She's and 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 the other one, um, Kendall. Kendall. Yeah. Well, well uh, Kim dated that one dude. Uh, he was well. He I think he was half black. Chris well, Chris Humphries. I think he was half black. Kim got her fame yeah. fucking but a black man. But because he was only half, how long did that last? <laughs> they lasted like a couple months <laughs> because he was only half. That's the only reason they lasted. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Facts. Well, let's segue a little that, bit. That, that whole family is like just got a lot going on. Let's segue a little uh, bit. Money let's going on, man. Do you guys think that, just to wrap it up, do you think the album's coming this Friday? I hope so. Yeah, yeah hope so. Wait, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. no. I ain't got to come in. Just, just the idea of the fact he's only doing like those two pop-up parties that seem honestly super like unplanned. They were spontaneous as fuck. Uh, and then the fact that he's talking about the samples and shit, they're not even sure if songs are on or off right now. Like, I don't see, I don't see it happening on Friday. Kanye just, reminds me of the Fire Festival. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like oh, he Lord, just don't do that. Ha. Oh, he oh. they supposed to have another one, too? I, I, yeah, I heard it coming yes. back. Yeah, yeah, yes. they play another one, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Coming back so just like So, the thing right about the Fire break. Festival, though, <laughs> the thing <laughs> about the Fire they, Festival. They're and signing up for Fire Fest, too. And I yeah. hope that they do the second one, and then I hope it goes proper, because if that would have been. I ain't got no choice. If it would have been proper. The first time. I mean, I don't see how it doesn't. Imagine I don't how, see how amazing that and fun yeah. that would have been. If it don't yeah, he, go good so this he time, sold a dream. Yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. But that's that's exactly it. It's like, oh, he thinks it's gonna be done by such and such date, and it's not. So yeah. I feel like that happens a lot with Kanye. Well, it takes him. I mean, yeah, he gets intense. it done, but it takes him a couple of weeks. Well, I, I mean, since he already delayed it, I think it once, it's done. But it's since he delayed it once, I think I don't think I don't see him delaying it twice. We'll see. All right, Jonathan Majors just got found guilty of. Y'all want to take a real break? Yeah, real take quick? a little break. Okay. Let's wrap it up break, a little bit. Sorry. We'll jump into that. Wrap this quick intermission. Meet the Neighbors Podcast. We'll be right back. Yo. Hey, God damn it. Sorry. Give it up for Pam. Give it up for Pam. <laughs> Give it up for <laughs> Pam. Sorry. Give it up for fucking <laughs> Pam, dog. Hey. 
Ain't nobody got time for that shit. I know you had one in you. <laughs> you better go and get it. Mm. Get eight. to eight. it. Eight. Don't quit. Hey, mm. hey. That's yeah. too legit. That's, that, that's that double cup talking. <laughs> Once you double cupped up, we start rapping. Double cup, yo, Put double cup, man. You got in that, that mode. Shit, that shit got Turn magic to Wayne. Tricks, you feel me? <laughs> My cup. Wayne mode activated. Fats, I got you. I got you freestyle. Yeah, I'll you cut that real in. One. Cut that in. I'll put, in the, I'll put it in between intermission or some shit. Listen, bro. You Everybody about to be, be out of here. Fats about to be out here. About to be out here DJing and rapping. The same but, time. Uh, listen, the bro. same damn time. At the same <laughs> damn time. Could you imagine? The one man band. Well, shit, man, let's get back right into it. Meet the Neighbors podcast, episode 14. <laughs> talk about a little Kanye, talk some vultures, yep, yep. what we expect from it. We think it's really coming out. Better be. Ain't coming. Now it's we're going to get into our very special oh. guest. We got my homie over here to my left, Chase from What Matters. Everybody clap it up for Chase one more time. Yo, yeah. what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Now, if, you, if y'all know anything about Chase, Chase is a really good homie of Rens Do Entertainment Co. We actually got a collab party coming up this Saturday, Christmas party slash commercial premiere for his clothing brand. It's going to be going down Saturday, uh, December 23rd, right here at Galaxy Tinning or the Rens Do HQ. But Chase, let it talk, uh, introduce yourself to the people. Let people know who you are. Tell them who you are, what you do, mm. and about what matters a little bit. Yeah, so I'm Chase What Matters. You feel me representing what matters. You know, I make clothes. You know, what matters is really like an overall brand, you know. It's more of a deeper meaning, you know. I want to know what matters to the people. You know yes. what I'm saying? Okay. You feel me? And put it into the clothes, you know, because it's always a different thing that I get from people. You know, you guys know I do the interviews. You feel me? You yeah. know, so it's always a different thing, you know. And I just like to put it into the clothes as well. You know? Put the passion to the art. Yeah, definitely, yes. definitely. Mm-hmm. So everything, the- everything I've seen come from you is like real, real fly, and also like real nicely put together. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. As okay. far as like the website, the photos, the way you know you, you roll out with things, it's it's, it's, real, it's real nice. Yeah. So, how did you get into this? Um. Well, I've been making clothes like for four years now. Um. I actually had a brand before this. It was called Certified Slider. Um. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, so you changed it up a little bit. Yeah. You know, I did a little rebrand. You, I did a little <laughs> rebrand. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Um. But you know, Slider. I started. I started with that. Uh, just making t-shirts, you know, I, me and my brother used to be in his apartment, you know, printing up t-shirts, you feel me, and just... Older or little brother? Older brother. Older he, brother. He's seven years older than me, you feel me? It's just me and him, yeah. you know? So uh, we would, you know, print up t-shirts, you know, trying to promote it, take little videos, all type. And then, you know, eventually I, just got to, like, I wanted something more fulfilling because, you know, it was just more of just, like, let's slap a graphic on a tee and right, sell, it. sell it type right, shit you right. feel me and it, it wasn't fulfilling to me yeah. you know i wanted something that really like made sense you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. so so where um where did the act the name actually what matters like where did it come from where did you get the inspiration for what matters uh or the inspiration behind it like where did that actual idea come from um honestly i mean my instagram name is chase what Ma- chase what matters that's you what, so your, your instagram was chase what matters before the actual brand came about yeah 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 it was chase what matters you feel me i had another instagram name i used to you know do music back in the day yeah. you feel me oh, i used to rap yeah i used to, okay, used I to know do that. a little music you feel me but i eventually i changed it to chase what matters because you know I, it was i was going through some things at the time and i wanted like every time i go on instagram it's like a reminder like what matters. chase what matters yeah you feel me so. so eventually one day you know this was during the rebranding process and I was like, I was thinking of names cause I knew I wanted to change the name. And I'm just like, you know, I'm, I wanted to keep the certified for some reason. I'm like certified this, certified that. But like I, I opened up Instagram and I'm looking at my name. I'm like, what matters? You feel me? What matters? You know? So I'm like, damn. It's lit. Yeah, so what, I so what does matter to you? What does matter to you? Family, consistency, mm. being a, a consistent person and being just a good person in general, you know, yes. Yes, sir. you feel me? It's not a lot of good people in the world, good, genuine know. people. You feel me? So You're definitely sad. one of them. You're definitely one of them. I think yeah, that's, uh, I think all the homies could uh, attest to what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the vibe has always been. I think before we met you, yeah. we obviously been a fan of your clothing. So we were a fan of your work, yeah, but when we met you, you, like, you were just a stand up guy. Mm. Like I joked about the only thing I didn't like about you was you're a Jets fan. Yeah. yeah. I really honestly, <laughs> I really mean that. Like I stand on that. Cause like, <laughs> bro, you're, you're a great dude. You, you stand by your, you stand on your business, your brand, you really represent your brand. And when we met you, it was through the interviews, and we were like really taken away by like, yo, you really stand for something in your brand, you really embody your brand. Yeah, and I wanna, I wanna give y'all a shout out because y'all have been giving like us a platform for real. Like, oh, it's a lot of us, you feel me, that be coming to the events, yeah. you feel me, and y'all letting people perform. You, y'all let me vend, you feel me. Absolutely. So like, I really appreciate y'all. You feel me? 
I like I could attest for like you feel me, my homeboys and everybody that we know. You feel me? Who have came to events? You feel me? Who know y'all? You feel me? We yes. really do appreciate y'all. What y'all man. doing? No, we appreciate. Clap it up, man. We appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Shout out, Renz Dewey, man. Need, man. That's what you need out here. That's for real. We appreciate that. Oh, my fault, my fault. You know. I got a question. Nah, but appreciate that for sure, though. Yeah, That's I got a question. A lot. You don't get a lot of uh, flowers. So yeah, yeah. Not. Nah, y'all deserve them for real. Yeah. Y'all doing a good thing, Moza. I got a question. Yeah. Um, I mean, I got two. Okay. You from Florida? Oh yeah. Born and raised? Yeah, Broward County. All right, right. Most I'm an I'm a up north guy. Okay. A lot of your clothes that you make are very not Floridian. F- not at all. Yeah. The, the puffer pants, the, the the fuzzy sweaters, the hoodies. Be hot the as fuck jackets. out here, Chase. Yeah. And I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. damn, that shit fire, but it's hot. It do be <laughs> hot. It do be hot. You feel but me? uh I, I I I where where does your influences come from? Especially with you being a Florida boy, but and it always being hot, not ever really being cool, but still mm-hmm. uh, making uh, clothes that really cater to other climates and other cities besides mm-hmm. Florida. What, 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 what inspires that? Um, honestly, um, so I did two years. Um, I did two years of college. Two years of college in Kentucky. Oof. Okay, and and none out my, there, cold as fuck. Yeah, it was cold as fuck. Like, that's my first time really seeing snow and like wearing layers and st- all that other Hell stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I fell in love with just, you know, Put like long drip. sleeves yeah, and, you know, on. thermals, you know. Put that shit on. Yeah, you know, so I just fell in love with it, you know. And, like, honestly, like, I, like I, all Florida niggas get the test for this. You feel me? We wearing whatever in this yeah. weather. No, that's Most a fact. Like, we wearing whatever, whatever in this weather. Whatever. You know? I'm, I'm, the one, so. I'm the exception, but I, but I definitely know, like, all the I homies of Florida much. shit. All yeah. the Florida homies, you bro. Know? It's like, bro. Bro, when I first moved down here, uh, I, was, I was living in North Miami. And my car ain't have no AC. And so I'm driving no with, shirt the, on. with the windows down. <laughs> yeah. Like I used to I literally used to have to drive with no shirt on because <laughs> when I get to work, my back would be sweaty and wrinkled and man, shit. They got on puffy I coat. be in I be in traffic. You see some kid at the I bus see, stop. Man, I see motherfuckers <laughs> walking down the street Hoodies. black yeah. hoodies, hoodies, hoodies with the hood on. Yeah. Yo, so these kids be at the kids. bus stop with yeah. their backpack yeah. on with a fucking hoodie on, bro. Like, Crazy. Oh, whoa. I can't even wear jeans when it's hot outside, bro. Real shit. I, I just I just can't. I can't do it. Sure they got North Face. Oh, we got a full sweatsuit on standing at the bus stop waiting for the bus. I can't see it every day really to can't do it. but it is it is a florida it is a florida swag though it is a yeah. florida swag the fact that you you, you really don't ever have a time of the year to get that shit off so you're gonna get it off whenever fuck the fuck it. you want literally that whenever I you know it. so let me ask you uh, uh, this, this is something i've been you know want to ask you and I, I feel like um you know you can give a lot of games to some people um that are trying to do the same thing that you're doing yeah most of um is so how you went from from printing t-shirts you know, which is a, it's kind of a simple process, um, to now like, like customize clothing, you know? So mm-hmm. how did you get into that and how did you learn about that? And what was your process of, you know, doing it? You mm-hmm. know, like, how did you learn how to get the, the shirts with the, with the fuzzy shirts and the puff pants? Like, how did you go through that process? Uh, well, I was introduced to Alibaba by a friend. Mm-hmm. Um, Little Alibaba. Yeah, Alibaba, <laughs> my friend, you know, and uh, I always, I always used to like doodle little stuff, and you know, I take inspiration from like everywhere, you know, you feel me? And one thing I like to do, I like to go to the thrift sometimes and just look at shit. Like, I might not even buy anything, and I just, I just want to look at shit, oh, like, oh, this would be hard if this was like that, or like, you know, this is what you feel yeah, me? Yeah. So, like, I always, like, always had things in the back of my mind that I wanted to do. I just needed the actual like source that could actually do it. Eventually, as I you know keep growing, like I want to have my own like seamstress, like where I could go to her and be or him and be like, hey, this is the design I want to do. Can you sew this up for me? Right. You know. Yeah. So you know. So yeah. Basically, that's all. That's yeah. what. That's what's up. So because I feel like there's a lot of people. You know, even with us. You know, we we're we're. we're soon to be diving into our mm-hmm. merch um and i don't know how far it's gonna go but yeah i was just curious about like you know y- your um your method and, and your process so mm. that's what's up man yeah appreciate it man oh yeah yeah do you do you go more into like a situation where it's like you want to make winter clothes or you want to make a beanie or you want to make something or you kind of just make a design you're like i right, just looks cool on it or do you kind of like plan out what, what's going to happen um, before you kind of it's, it's kind of creative yeah i try to plan out um like this is like the first like official like year of what matters. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So 
2024, like, I'm going to be real, like, I have everything planned out for 2024. Like, mm. spring, summer, fall, winter. That's like, great. I try to plan ahead of time, you know, and gotcha. I try to do it by seasons. Because, yeah, I'm from Florida and it's hot out here, but, like, you know, like, I want to cater to everybody, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not like, just selling to people in Florida, you're trying to sell everybody. Yeah, I want to be worldwide, to be real. Yeah, we some yeah. folks like, in pants now. I've yeah. seen a couple different folks in Most definitely. Well, that's a good question. Maybe fresh, too. Yeah, so who's some of the, um, like, most, I guess, famous people that have worn your clothes? Um... Sada Baby, the rapper. Uh, my dog HD is a bare knuckle fighter. Okay. Um, there's some shit on the low, but uh, hey. I didn't say I didn't I didn't send Friday some stuff. Friday manager had hit me up. Okay. Okay. You know, wanted some things. You know, a couple things in the mix. That's what's up, Couple things bro. in the mix. Now, as someone who's hustling, like, do you think that's like something you focus on, like getting your your closings to people like that got more recognition, or are you really just focused on getting out the mud and just like? Whoever wants my shit can get my shit. Or that's something you try to focus on, like, or you think it's necessary. Like, I got to have someone that's got a little bit more clout, a little more recognition to wear this shit. Well, you got to have a balance of both, yeah. you know, if you want to really, like, get the recognition. Because, you know, like, somebody who's up there wearing your stuff, like, that's going to bring other people. That's just saying my shit hot. Exactly. Oh, you that's, know? Cause that, unfortunately, that's all in that space, yeah. mm. that's what it's really about. Yeah, yeah. I, I, niggas was wearing the Air Monarchs. Mm. They was clowning. I was the dad shoe. Mm. Uh, Russell Westbrook started wearing them, and you started seeing other celebrities wear the ad. Them, them shits was thirty five dollars yeah. for DSW. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this fashion stuff is all about trends. Like That's people it, follow bro. trends, man. Like, like, like don't even be it's, what it's, they like it's that wear. simple. Like, like you gotta show them. Yeah, most definitely. I feel like I feel like in order for you to really have some style and like really know how to like put that shit on as mm-hmm. y'all would say mm-hmm. you really gotta know yourself yeah definitely and be comfortable with yourself yeah definitely so that you know what worked for you what fit because it's a feeling thing mm. right you, it, it, you, it, it you put, when you put no nah, clothes really are just feeling so you gotta a, feel that's good a, yeah i don't like that i don't like the way you know you're shit. stepping mm-hmm. out you're like damn you know yeah. what i changed yeah, my outfit yeah, yeah. i'll be checking yeah, i changed yeah, my outfit about four or five times probably no because i throw some shit up before where it's like i'll I'll put it on and i'll be like i don't know how it looks yeah i'm not but, feeling this right yeah. Yeah. but, as I, but I, somehow i'll get the opposite like i don't know how it looks but i feel really good and, and mm-hmm. i think it looks good so i mean sometimes it works the opposite where maybe i don't look as good as i think i do but mm. I don't know. Oh, Sometimes I do like to text, 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 uh, send a homie a friendly text every once in a while about my outfits. Mm. Like, yo, yo what, what you, you think? <laughs> AKA Fats. What you wearing? <laughs> what you no, that's that's funny. I didn't know that, but that's funny. Cause <laughs> I, I've, I've asked Fats, too. I'm like, yo, hey, you come shopping with me. I like at least one opinion. I like at least one opinion. At least one opinion. Why not? Yeah. Uh, man, look good, feel good. Yeah. Feel of good. course. Have so let me ask you one more uh, question, Chase. With getting your clothes into these people's hands, you know, these... Influencers' hands, whether it be artists or just influencers in general, um, do you handle that yourself, or do you have a team like that helps promote? Um, like, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right now it's all me, really. To be honest, that's lit. Yeah, I'm everything. just yeah, I literally do everything. Hey, I do man, the, man. Yeah, I do marketing. I do. I do. Except like the campaigns and stuff. The like campaigns, the you know, we got, you got my dog. Homies, yeah. yeah, we got my dog Kermit. You know, we got, uh, you know, the models. You feel me? It's how to do Chrissy. You know, right. everybody that's gonna be in the commercial on the twenty third. You know, make sure y'all come out the twenty third. Come, yes. come on, come on out. It's Saturday, but December twenty third. A Christmas, Christmas party. I'm off, man. But oh, you know, put, oh, it's, it's it's about to have a good everybody time. Everybody clap for Trap being off, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Trap is off. He's going to the party. He's got a new job, but you know what? I would have quit that motherfucker. His eleventh job of the year. W twos is crazy. Man, I gotta figure it out. You know, if you're not taxes happy, gonna be nuts. I, I truly, <laughs> hey, but I got a great account though. But now nah, I truly feel like if you're not happy doing something, man, is it, you shouldn't settle. That's ever. a fact. Yeah, nah, definitely. That's a fact. Nah, I feel you on that. Yeah. That's a fact. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You gotta that's know fact. your worth. That's a fact. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah. Do you uh, feel like that? Hold on. I gotta, do you feel like that when it comes down to your clothing? You have a because. All right. You, first of all, you black, mm-hmm. and you the homie. What's up? So there's other situations where it's like. Hey man, let me get it for. Mm. Have you ever been in those situations? Do you look out? How does it make you feel? Mm. I I have definitely like it happens a lot, you know. Mm. But um, my price is my price. Yeah, I mean, especially when I see that person wearing a fucking hundred dollar fucking it, yeah, it cause essential like, shirt or some shit like that yeah. at the same time. Oh, you don't get me wrong, like you feel me. <laughs> I, I've done, I've given like my dogs, you know, like free stuff. You feel oh, me? Because like you know, like 
I want people to see you wearing my stuff. Of course. You get what I'm saying? Right. But like, they also if you're always business. asking for it, yeah. like, like, come on, man. You feel me? Support the hustle. That means you too. like it. Like, you just don't want to spend no money on it. You keep asking me for it. Yeah, you don't want to like, spend no money on it. Like, support the hustle, too. You feel, I'll look out for you. Look out for me did, sometimes. Did a bigger yeah. artist, like, you know, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but mm. like, like Sada. Did he pay for that shit? Sada paid for it. All right, that's lit. Yeah, We're Sada actually, shit, then, like, shout out to Sada. Shout out to Sada in HD, because. Sada really was like, I was telling, I'm gonna be real. I was like, yo, Sada, I'll send it to you off the love. Just take a picture in it, tag me. Sada was like, nah, I'm gonna pay for it. Yeah. You feel me? Apple Pay. Oh, that's lit, like, Real bro. shit. You Did feel you me? meet him in person or you met him online? It was, it was through Instagram. Yeah, yeah through Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You know, hopefully we could meet in person one day, yeah, but, you sure. know, yeah, it was, it was through baby. Instagram. Man, hey, I, I was about to say, that ain't Sada. Is that him? Nah. That's the other one, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's one of them babies. It is, it is a baby, though, is it? Nah, that's um, that's B, B, K, I forgot B Cash name. or something like that. Yeah, it B, is? Uh, uh, BSK Cash or something. something like that, yeah. I thought I was Sada Baby the whole time. Nah. Shit. <laughs> 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 that's what he said. We don't have to know everything, right? It's all good. Uh, nah, that's that's cool as shit, though, man. Yeah. You know, hopefully, hopefully we, uh, you know. Look forward to seeing like some of your clothes and some of these artists' videos and yeah. stuff like that. You know, do you, um, do you, I've seen a lot of you know your models. We know some of them that are homies too. Do you make women clothes? Um, excuse me. Um, I want to dive deeper in it. I've made crop tops, mm -hmm. but I really do want to dive deeper into women's clothing. You know, um. Cause I mean, you gotta look out for the ladies too. Yeah, absolutely. You feel me? You can't you just you can't, absolutely you gotta look out for the ladies, but. Yeah, that's something that I want to dive deeper in as, like, you know, things progress. I got a question because yeah. we got ladies in the house. When it comes to T-shirts, do you like the T-shirts to have a girl fit or do you like to get the guy or boy T-shirt just in a smaller size? That's a good question. I prefer a girl fit, but mm -hmm. it depends on what, like, what I'm like, using what it mood? for. Yeah. Like a graphic right. tee. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of girls be rocking that oversized yeah, graphic. Like yeah. Size, yeah, like if it's a graphic tee, then I want oversized. Because a girl like could probably modify that anyway. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and even like you if you want. said, we get a smaller size yeah. or something mm. like that. Yeah. Okay. Because girl shirts, girl shirts are cut no, differently. Differently. Yeah. 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 Man, they man. fit differently under the arms and everything. Definitely yeah. depends on where you buy them from and shit. But like when it comes to just like regular like graphic tees. Like what's like? I just wanted to know for my personal. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all might want to know too. If there's anybody out here trying to make clothes, most of you need to, you need to understand your consumers and what they like, and that's gonna keep them coming back. Yeah, I the same way y'all go back to Macy's and Saks Fifth Avenue and shit. But yeah, you like the boy? You like the boy fit? <laughs> okay. Mm. She said it depends on her. If you mode. like the girl yeah. fit. Uh, I think it the, the style. There's certain shirts that look better when they're nice and tight around, you know, the chest Absolutely. area. Okay. And then there's certain shirts where like the style is a little bit more laid back mm. and like just. If you want to be cozy or yeah. you want to, yeah, are you right. trying to dress to impress? Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just wondering. Yeah. Fats question of the day. <laughs> How do you like to wear your t-shirts? That was a good question. <laughs> Another style of question. All right, real quick. Going back to actually, hey, how do I look today? You start from the top down or from the bottom up? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I I don't really. My shoe game ain't all there right all uh, all there right now. It so it not be there. But no, but I feel like if you have a good shoe game, you like pick. I want to wear these shoes, and then I'll I'll build from there. Nope. But I don't know. I just pick. I just nope. pick what I like. Like if I, I have a shirt, I haven't worn. That's a false like narrative. That. Chase, I honestly start with my pants. Like yeah. every time, like mm. I'll do pants, shirt, shoes, and you then I might the throw shoes. a hat. I guess I do shirt first. I guess I do shirt first. I always just wear black pants or jeans. Black pants or my pants are always usually black or fucking jeans all the time. So. Feel it, Misconception: feel it. Just because you got a whole bunch of sneakers does not mean you it's easy to pick fits, bro. Coming that's from true, the sneaker though, king, coming from the sneaker I, king, I'm, I'm nowhere, nigga. There's some people with shit ton of shoes, but yeah, in my space, I got a lot of shit. I wear the same fucking sneaker every time, dog. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just yeah. might change the fit. Yeah, I might change what I wear with with, with the kicks, but I wear the same shit all the sneaker wise. Mm -hmm. I've been wearing these fucking imag reimagined threes, the white cement since they came out. Yeah, it's like every couple months, like you have a go-to, like no matter what. Yeah, yeah, I wear the same shit a lot too. If I like something, I wear it. I wear it a lot. Like, yeah, I like it a lot. Shoes. And it all goes back to what you feel good in. Yeah. That's it, bro. Yeah, it's gonna stuff. Cool. It died. But shit, man. Let's wrap this shit up. Second segment up real quick. The Meet the Neighbors podcast. We'll be right back.
All right, let's get this shit popping, man. Meet the Neighbors podcast. We just got to hurry Jumping up. Jumping right back into it. <laughs> Episode you, 14. We got to hurry up. The track got to get home. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all full of shit. Master said. Y'all, y'all full Master said, I got to get home now. <laughs> 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 Trevor. Yeah, hey. My hey. name is Trevor. Hey, wait till these goddamn cameras cut off. All right? Wait till I turn these cameras off. Your on. name is Toby. <laughs> My name is Trevor. <laughs> but yeah, man, we talk a little. We talk a little Kanye. Had a little great conversation with Chase about his clothing brand and his business. What matters? Hell yeah. We gonna jump into some sports shit real quick. What else we got on the top on the, on the docket, Pam? Oh, yeah, let's talk about that shit. That's some crazy so, shit. So, Anthony Edwards is a uh, basketball player for the Timberwolves. Yeah, Minnesota Timberwolves. And he got his side, break, side bitch pregnant. No. Oh, shit. Got uh, his side girl pregnant. She, he wanted, obviously, to for her to get an abortion. She said she didn't want one because she's already had one, and it takes a lot on her body. Um, he said, I'll send you $100,000, and you got to get it done. So, he sends the $100,000. She um, says that she gets it done. He wants a video. It's all in text. She released all of the information, all of the text messages. Um, she gets the abortion. She doesn't get the hundred thousand dollars. He scammed her. How do you guys feel? Was there a contract? No contract. Well, then she fucked up. Well, yeah. first, hold on. First things first. Did she actually get the abortion? She sent the video of her getting the abortion. She the abortion got the was abortion. done. Abortion. Yes. Well, the, so. Well, Apparently, she, he sent the hundred thousand dollars, and she saw that it was pending, so she got the abortion. But the money's still pending now. But it's still pending, so now she's like exposing him because I think she still wants the money. Wants the money. I, I guess she just learned a valuable lesson about contracts. <laughs> <laughs> facts, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, because he about said to her, contract. "My lawyers, uh, my attorney will deal with it." So she comes. Yeah, that's really her fault. I ain't gonna lie. Right. Yeah, she thought she got one. She was like, "I got me an NBA player." Mm-hmm. He just dropped the shoes. He got his Adidas dead. joint going. He just signed one of the richest contracts in, the, in NBA history. Not, I don't know if it's the richest, but one of the richest contracts ever. So, so not Michael only Jackson, did, that's Michael Jackson, Michael not, Jordan's son. Not only did she <laughs> fumble the bag, but she sold herself short anyway. Cause a hundred thousand. So I guess what? A hundred thousand or broke, motherfucker. Yes. Question is, <laughs> what, what do you? Was she really pregnant? Yeah. I mean, a hundred thousand for someone who's not pregnant is a deal. Hundred thousand. I'm pregnant today. I'm calling somebody. Well, did she go? Did she go through with the abortion? She claims she did, and she he, I think he said something along the lines. I think something like um, that's not the pill or something. There was rumors that maybe she didn't take the right pill. Okay, so so I'm about because I, I was gonna say. I mean, if she had an abortion, then she was pregnant. Hundred K. But if it, I don't know, man. See, I, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Listen. What are you doing, Pat? She got finesse. You, you send hundred. What do you? What do you? What do you? What are your exact moves in the situation? You, you send hundred k. You waited for her to get the abortion first. You're telling her just go ahead and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Have the baby. We do it after. What are you doing? Hundred k. I am pregnant with <laughs> twins. Jada Pinkett <laughs> Smith's children right now. God damn it. Fuck you talking about hundred k. Baby worth hundred k. Come on, let me get that. But if she was really pregnant, she could have gotten more. She, yeah, like she has the exactly. baby, she gets nah, way facts. more than $100,000. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's why it kind of seems a little shady because, like, is that yeah. like a little little scheme real listen, quick? Listen, man, we, we, listen, man, everybody getting got the allegations and, the, and, and all the stuff just keep this coming and coming and coming for everybody. Uh, we in that Me Too time, so it's weird. Mm-hmm. That, the fact that we even have to question it. If it's real or not, that that that's the sucky part. But he apologized in this shit because she had the text messages, so he definitely has to apologize about. Um, What's he apologizing for? You gotta get an abortion. Being and, sensitive. Yeah, because you know the whole women's rights. But she accepted it, so it's not like he forced. It's his her. comments. Yeah. He got well, endorsed. Yeah, said, he said, "I will, th- I'll throw you a hundred, a hundred thousand. Get get the abortion. Get the abortion." So and his, she said, "Okay." He said, "Get an abortion." His, LOL. His his his, his apology. <laughs> he is said, "Get for, an abortion." LOL. Women should have uh, the right to choose on what they want to do with their body. So I want to apologize. 
See, that's just some him being an NBA star and having no apologize. Because, yeah, like, yeah, at the end of the day, what did he, what did he really, he what did he really say? Right, you feel me? What did he really say wrong? He, he, I mean, was he a little aggressive about it and a little bit nonchalant about the whole abortion idea? Yeah, he was. But, like, but well, at least the tone of his text, his text mm-hmm. were. But, like, but did he, he didn't really but, do anything wrong. But did he yeah. post text or did she post she text? Posted. She posted yeah. it. Exactly. That's another thing. Like, this is a conversation between me and you. Like, and she probably only posted what she wanted to show. You already know. So, I think, I think, you know, it. If you're worried about these situations, wrap it up. The old yeah. keep right. a nigga, baby. But everybody yeah. knows that's the hard part. <laughs> and I guess <laughs> the, hard part, I was the hardest God. part in the world. <laughs> <laughs> to make it worse, his um, current girlfriend or wife, I don't know. Oh, of married. course he got a current girlfriend. Damn. Yeah, she's pregnant. What is so that? Damn. Yeah. Hold on. What, so he's got a Damn. Girl, 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 yeah, yeah. I've seen a video of her before. He's got a, um, cause I, I remember he, when he got the contract, he posted a video of like him, him in bed with his damn. girl. Damn, and he was like. Worse. All y'all girls don't be trying to come after me now that I got this money. Y'all ain't mm. want me then. He was like showing love to his girl. So he had a Gumar. What is it called? Yeah, a Gumar. A Gumar. <laughs> Gumar. A Gumar. Nah, that wasn't his Gumar. A Gumar is accepted. Uh, yeah, your wife yeah. knows. As an Italian culture, your wife knows about it. Like yeah. she, so she talks it, about it. So what's up with his uh, wife right now? How did, I don't know. She's probably. Does anybody sure know she's about? Pissed. She's not leaving. <laughs> she yeah, leaving. she's Why chilling she? right now. Like. Pam, you leaving? No. All right, bye. She got it made right, for real. Like. She's gone. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. What, what are we doing here? He's young too, right? This is just yeah. the beginning of our relationship. Yeah, she's Marriage chilling. Marriage is about, <laughs> you know, fighting for love. Let's do this. How much did you say he was worth? He signed, he signed for like $200 million, maybe even more. It was, mm-hmm. it was fat. Listen, it was crazy. It's that love. I mean, Listen, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. He come home to business, me every night. Bitch. I don't care. <laughs> So you're, su- That's so, terrible. so you're sweeping under the rug. Um, we <laughs> have to, we'd have to address it. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm still at the end of the day. Exactly, I'm still yeah. a Dominican woman. We're gonna fight about it a little bit, but, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna. Yeah, we have the pros and the cons. All right, let's take it one more step further. Are you only, you're only staying with him though because of his, his status? Absolutely, yeah. So then it's. If it was just Joe from around the block, no. Even if you love him. No, we'll figure it out. We can co-parent. <laughs> that room. <laughs> See ya. So you look at it from a, you look at it from a strictly business and financial situation yeah. where if you're dating a dude who's making X amount of dollars and can take care of you, I might tolerate some shit. You might tolerate some shit because I wouldn't that. tolerate from a broke nigga, a regular nine to fiver. I'm not talking like I'm like he's. We're talking millions here. I'm not talking about like hundreds couple, of millions. Yeah, right. That's different. That's life changing. Life changing, right? Mm. Well, he's got about two of those contracts coming up. I got two more of those contracts coming up. I look at it like this. I look at it like a job. All right. It comes the, with the job. A lot of people that have jobs, they don't like certain aspects of the job, right? Mm-hmm. But how much are you willing to put up yeah, with? Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I'll put up with a lot more bullshit right. if I'm getting if paid a lot well, more money. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Most so. And yeah, as, a, as your partner, your partner knows what your job is. And if you marry someone who, uh, and you know what your partner's job is, whether it's, guy, whether it's the girl, the guy, vice versa, like, you know what you're getting into when you date this person, like dating a stripper. Like, you know what you're getting into when you right. date a stripper or a exactly. porn star. You know what comes with the lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know what comes with her occupation or his occupation. So you're dating a ball player. You kind of, I'm not making an excuse for, for cheating, but it's like you kind of already know what kind of comes with it. Yeah, it's a, st- it's a slippery slope, man. At the end of the day, women get cheated on for free. So I will take it for a couple of millions. Paint <laughs> 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 that a bitch. Paint that a bitch. But it's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy because, you know, his if lifestyle I do that shit, I ain't all shit. year round is I'm traveling the world, traveling the country. He's, he, and he's the young one the young player. What is he, 21, 22? He's not more than 23, 24. Yeah, oh, yeah wow. he's 21, 22. He's not 25. With o- already almost $300 million guaranteed. Is that dude. what it is? Because they say his net worth for 2023 is $14 million. Well, he ain't got the money yet. Yeah, he he's gonna starts next year. Mm-hmm. Contract Look up Anthony Edwards' new contract. What about, you know, what I think is a ridiculous number. Oh, that that seven hundred million boy. So oh, you talking about a baseball boy, player, Jackie yeah. Chan? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> seven hundred million dollars. Ten years. Ten years. And how old is he? Gonna get another one. He's not. He's almost right? twenty-five That's too. Wild. He's like. He's like. And they said that he's, he's three hundred away from it. He's close, like twenty-five, twenty-six. What's, and, what's and the guarantee on it? All based on money's guaranteed. That's so the crazy part he, about it. Man, he stops I, playing. Man, I might go wreck my car. What probably happen? What probably happen is is that he'll he'll like sign a, he'll sign a new contract mm-hmm. as he gets older, so he won't get like that full money. But he'll sign an actual oh, different damn, contract. Yeah, he'll get that money. You know what I'm saying? What was it? Two hundred sixty million, right? Yeah, yeah. two hundred seven. Five years, two hundred seven million is what Anthony Edwards got. But showing Atani got ten years, seven hundred million, and he also tore his shoulder this year, so he can't even throw to like twenty twenty five. And they said if he didn't tear his shoulder, he was going to give him more money. 
So Jesus. That's close to a billion dollars. But think uh, about it. They're both young. They're going to have multiple contracts like that. You're going to see, you're oh, gonna see the in the next couple Endorsements, fucking. And the, yeah, endorsements on top of that. On top of that. That's what I want to know. The billionaires. That's what I want to know. Where's his money coming from? The billionaires. Billionaires. They're not, he's, he's signed to the L.A. Dodgers, bro. And baseball, there's no salary cap. So the baseball, they're allowed to make. So the taxpayers' money. They they pay a, what you call a luxury tax. Like they pay extra money nah, to pay these teams, these guys more play. Like the yeah. Marlins, the Marlins salary, I don't know what it is, but it's nowhere near. So Anatani gets paid more than the entire Marlins staff players. Do. Damn. The, the baseball, you're allowed to pay the guys whatever the fuck you want. Like that's why that's why these teams are a lot of Yankees, but the it, Dodgers. But it does go back to where where's the money go? Their fans from. and the money they're able to generate. Then if you, even if you think about Jeff Bezos and how much money he makes like per minute, and it, I I have an, an analogy. I have an analogy. It's like. All right, you got a you got a lake, right? With all these fish in it. You can only catch so many fish and then the fish are gone. Where's the money coming from? It's a from? crazy amount of number, bro, but it's honestly seven hundred million dollars. <laughs> seven hundred million dollars. How you keep coming up with this if money? You really man. Think about how much money this guy's in the generate. Where the fish for, go, goddamn for this, the team. Goddamn fish. With ticket you sales. Saying, though, right? Where yeah. they coming from? Ticket sales, jerseys, everything, bro. This motherfucker's gonna generate for the team. It's not hard to think. Like seven hundred million. They yeah. generating seven hundred million dollars going to see things throw that ball around. Seven hundred million. 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 What ticket sales cost, bro? To me, it just shows that the money is there's there's no value in it. I mean, it just oh of course they yeah. were just like uh, yeah, they just throwing that shit around to no. be honest. But if that again, they just throwing it around to be honest. Like uh, picking out a hat. <laughs> seven hundred million. Oh, no, but it's good. crazy because you know if you look deep into it, it's like all right, seven hundred million over what ten years. It's, it's not crazy. It's not that crazy. All right, he's, he's making. Crazy. He's making. Really he's making. Is, is it after it's taxes? crazy to give to one person, but to think that how much money he's actually. You guys are this way. If a they're year. Getting, if they're going to give seven hundred million, I can almost guarantee you that the math on that business investment for them, they're probably making tenfold than what he's going to generate. At least double. To the team. At, At least, least double. double per yeah, year. but look, three million around three. Uh, rough. Uh, this ain't exact math, but roughly three million dollars a year is like two hundred some thousand dollars a month. Mm. You think they can't make that off him? I'm just saying. They're making, they're That's making it off the back of the off, China, man. man. And, a, and again, he's in L.A. He's in L.A. The, he's the, the world face. of endorsements and deals. He's a Dodger. He's a, he's a fucking god in Asia, He's going mm. to make $70 million this year, but just imagine what the team's going to make off of him this year. Seventy million, they're going to make probably well, so they make $100 million. That's still $30 million <laughs> profit <laughs> just off his name. You're gonna see. You're gonna see loaded. fucking if I in the next five ten years a fucking athlete, baseball player, guaranteed or soccer player get, get a, billion. a fucking billion dollar contract. I wouldn't be surprised That'll if it's like day. Messi or something. Broke as shit, man. It'll probably be Mbappe. <laughs> I'm so fucking. <laughs> you see how broke you are, right? <laughs> and then give a nigga. Bro, niggas is giving away seven hundred mil. Like, hey, you know what? You are great. Seven hundred million dollars right there for you, sir. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> But not only are you great, what but you're I going do? to be great for 10 years. You, for 10, like, like, but that's it's guaranteed. Like, that's a lot of faith. So like, even if I do suck. We don't suck, even know for real. Like, right? Even if I do yeah. suck like, next year. How about, there's no, been players that have been great from the start. And what they'll do if he sucks or gets hurt is they just, they'll great. just tell him, like, yo, bro, listen, you've been on the team for three, four years. You haven't done shit. We have to, in order for us to keep you or not trade you or whatever, you have to re- 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 restructure it. You know, just restructure another fat ass contract. It'll probably be like less years, less money. Refinance like that, but it'll still be crazy. Mil. It'll still be crazy. It'll still be crazy. It'll still be crazy. It'll still be crazy. You got to refinance the house. For my player. So, yeah, I mean, he's out of her way, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, Let's go to Ruby Rose. Do you guys know about Ru- Ruby Rose? Let's talk what about happened? that a little bit. We wrap shit up really quick. Yo, we talked about so it before. There was a guy that was it's sending fake. her apparently uh, like sixty thousand dollars, I think, a month. Or it something? was her biggest. It was supposed to be her. She went viral recently over this past month for her biggest spender, who apparently sent her like sixty thousand dollars, sixty racks. I don't and think it was, was like, per month. I think it was not. Nah, like it, it was just in total. total. It was some, but it was some crazy amount of money. But whatever. Long story short, he ended up doing a no jumper interview. And saying that the whole thing was a hoax. He never gave her the money. It was really just, I don't know if he actually, I'm sure he did give her some type of money. So he, mm-hmm. I don't know what happened, that, how that happened. But her team planned it. Like her team, it was a marketing, a marketing plan for her team to pretty much take the picture with him, say that he spent X amount of dollars. And I guess to, I don't know, show that she was boost getting. Sales. Boost her sales. Boost her cloud. I don't know. Yeah, whatever the fuck happened after that. Cloud is a hell of a drug. Yeah, a hell of so a drug. I have a, a question drug. for you guys just for She's fun. Still fine, though. Oh, yeah, if she's a bad. man was she's sending bad. your girl a lot of money, she wasn't doing much, how would you feel? I feel like it's just a, a picture. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fast question. I would, I would, I would, I would, no, I mean, hypothetically, nobody speaking. sends, 
60 K in dog. one year. Even if she had to send a pick. Even if it's, yeah, even one pick. Yeah. We going to Red Lobster. <laughs> That's all we bullshit. We going to go to Corral, dog. <laughs> Listen, I man. Agree. Listen, dog. We would have to have She's a conversation about it. She's not doing anything, it. right? Well, we would have to have a conversation. Well, talk about, about though. What, are you are you allowing your girl to do it? Are you allowing your girlfriend to 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 sell picks? Yes. To do whatever the fuck she wants. Not Come whatever on. the fuck she wants, but, but yeah. it's a guaranteed. Yeah. It's not like you have to build up to it. It's not like she's starting off with five dollars. He's like, yo, like he about to drop sixty k in my account if I can show him my feet. My feet. I'm I can show it. him shit in my hand. <laughs> There's people paying sixty grand. I've seen a video of a girl of an Instagram chick that I follow. For men to shit, women to shit. Yep. Nah, I get I've it. Seen that. I've but, seen but, that. But so, so this is the stipulation, though. Rub I, it on me. Just because she gets <laughs> hit sixty grand, sick niggas. What makes sure? What, like, what we're gonna have to have a conversation. He's about like, is, I need a cut. I need. We need yeah, a contract. <laughs> yeah, what, what's going to me? Mm. Girl, you get because you get yeah. sixty grand. What am I getting? When she gets sixty grand, she go get her own house. Honestly, I feel like if you're going to do that, you got to put it in my pocket. Yeah. Simple. So Absolutely. you got to make sure you that you get cash up. Yeah, you got you to. You got you to. Or you, can, or you can go do this by yourself. Yeah. Okay. I say, all right, I'm out. See you later. <laughs> oh, I'll rob you. <laughs> I'm going to let her do it. You let her do it? And I'm going to trust and believe that she's not going to rob, you know, finesse me. Because the fact that I'm letting her do it, you know what I'm saying? But it also depends on how I met her. Because obviously she was already doing this. This ain't no shit that might have not. Now, if it's just some shit that kind of like this part So if, what if she brings you the idea? Just out the blue. She's like, hey, man. Oh, then it's golden. Uh, I think I, I met this dude. He, he loves my feet. Pay type he dollar. He's willing to pay X amount of dollars if I just send him nigga. feet every week. You cool with it? I am taking the photos, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> prop, your, prop your feet. Right. Put that fruit that's, bowl right see, there. See, that's the golden. That you is the I'm golden. Saying? We in this together. Ideal situation is if it happens like that. I won't date a girl unless she got pretty feet. So but, <laughs> but, but, if I, but if I just, if I caught her. But see, that's the thing. Like, that's and different. And then it'd be like, and she like wouldn't tell me about it? Yeah, yeah okay. that's a different story. Yeah, that's totally yeah. different. Like, you got to tell me. Like, I'm like, damn, bitch, you got me paying for this shit? Yeah. And you out here getting $60,000 transactions? Off the feed. For doo-doo, girl? <laughs> for and I got to right. smell this shit? The doo-doo shit's weird. I got to smell it? That's some weird shit. And this nigga paying for it? Man, you got to smell it? Shit? Yeah. We, no, we beefing for real. Because we could have been got in on this. And we could have became partners. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get a business card and say content creator. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Right. Not, hey, not, yeah. Content exactly. Content. Now, now, now you got a whole new business. Listen, dog. <laughs> Listen, man. It's crazy how because like this OnlyFans shit. Like that's pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it would be an OnlyFans. So There's women actually getting 60k for real for OnlyFans. Yeah, most. You like, see what fucking what's her name? The chick. Uh, Bad baby. Catch me outside. Yeah. Bad baby. Yeah. They could wait for her little ass to turn 16, 18. I think she's, I think she's pregnant Yo, now. Yo, we sick. Yeah. I, I think she's she pregnant. was a baby when she first yeah. came out, right? Yeah, they waited. So niggas is weird. On her 18th birthday, I think she made like a million dollars. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, I heard they could wait. Niggas yeah, is weird, man. that's crazy. They that's could not sick. wait for her to, yeah, 18. And, and, I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure that uh, I got on Reddit. she just posted a picture <laughs> that I, I think she's pregnant. She's pregnant, yeah. Who? She's 20. That baby girl. Who? She's only 20? Who knows? She's still young. That's crazy. I'm going to hit the lotto. What? What? I mean, she's Catch young. Me but she's young, but it's perfect because she's, you know, I'd ra- if if I have a kid, you know, obviously I would rather, I would have rather had it as young as possible. Move really? Up. Get it if, out the way. Yeah, it's better chances. Way, yeah, that way I'm, I'm around them longer. I grow up with them longer. You mm-hmm. know, I'm True. able to do more things. But the, you know, it's it's all about financials, really. Right. You know, so if if she's in a position where she can just be like, all right, I'm good. I can take care of this child, whatever. That's just a rare situation, though. It'd be yeah. a chick like that. I got mm-hmm. that much paper. Have a kid with her, bro. Yeah, I don't think there's situation. ever really. A, <laughs> I don't think there's ever really a time where you're like, I'm financially ready to. You think someone will pay her a hundred thousand to keep the baby? Hold on, what do you mean? <laughs> hundred thousand to keep right. it. Keep that shit. I said you think someone will pay her a hundred thousand yeah. to keep the baby? Hell yeah, <laughs> I would. <laughs> That's an investment for real. What? Yeah. Bullshit. I'm gonna get all of this back. Cause then I'm gonna quit my job and see get child support. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Straight up. Oh my god, the life, well, the world Catch is fucked outside. up right now. Yo, man. it's sick, bro. It's oh, sick. The god. shit that's going on outside, and you can't even question. Well, you could question it, but then you'll look crazy. 
for 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 questioning the crazy shit that's <laughs> going on outside. They looking at me like he might have gone and rant. No, I waited for it. I <laughs> waited for it. <laughs> the perfect segue to wrap the episode up. Let you do your rant. We wrap this shit up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to get on my 15 minute. My Kanye. I'm about to get my Kanye shit. I literally was like, he's gonna go on his rant right now. I wrap it <laughs> up. On my anti-Semitic rant. <laughs> 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 Oh, I literally felt it. I was like, he gonna go in his rant real quick for a couple minutes and he wrap this shit up. Nah, it's weird, bro. It's weird. I was, yo, y'all see that blue face shit? What? What about blue it? Blue face versus soldier? Nah, well, that is crazy. Nah, bro. Wait, well, he slammed the girl? He brought the, girl? the he brought the girl on stage. Say he's caught her and hit it to Alexis his baby her up. mama yeah. uh, beat her up. His what? Baby was so ugly, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm she's, sorry. she's yeah. so ugly. He she shook on her like a pit bull. Like, get her. Hey, you want to <laughs> so throw ugly, ice? Bro. Get up here. Hey, Wait. get her. Did it, she not hey. get charged with anything? I don't. That's what I'm waiting to see. Well, you know what's funny? I he's a menace. I, I bro. said Camilo he, on one, uh, somebody one time. That's ridiculous, dog. He like, hey, yo, that's fucking. I called call my Ooh. girl outside. Say, hey, yo, come get this girl. And that's girl abuse. Yo, mm-hmm. girl. He the new Ike. He the new Ike Turner, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. She don't like me talking he's about it. He's a menace. Yeah. Sick him. Sick him. Get him. Get him. She don't like me talking about it as so I put it in the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fuck it. God damn. Nah, God, man. That's that's that's. I'm all up here. Maybe you have to cross uh-huh. amigos too much, bro. He be drunk as hell all the time. Who? Blueface? Blueface. He always. Who y'all got winning in the verses? Blueface or Soldier Boy? Soldier. Blueface. Blueface. Soldier. S O D M G. I just want to make sure y'all. y'all hold on, hold on. Oh, you said verses. The verses. Yeah. Oh, Soldier. I thought you meant Soldier. Oh, in a fight, I got Blueface. In a real fight, I got Blueface. Soldier Boy is like too, fucking my size. He's little as fuck. Blueface, Blueface really be uh, boxing. Yeah, he really be yeah, boxing for real. He not bad. He likes fighting. You got you got look at motherfuckers that like fighting differently, bro. Name name two Blueface songs. All I know is Tatiana. Bust down Tatiana. Tatiana, 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 Tatiana remix. the remix. <laughs> nah, see. I know more of his. I know his girl's new song where I know his. What's, what's his girl? Uh, hips. It's best, his girl going to have to fill in for him <laughs> type shit. That's I why. Know that, that, I know that for Sean more than I know. Even though you know he's writing his girl's music, <laughs> though. Vibe. He's definitely writing his girl's music. Oh, what, do y'all, what do y'all think about um, Chris Sean and uh, my boo? <laughs> Chris Sean and my boo. Oh, and Mabel? Mabel, whatever. That's for Kyle. Bro, I don't even pay Sean going to beat my ass. But what about Fabio O'Foran or Fabio O'Foran, whatever? And him and my boo, Mabel, they got this weird relationship. Like, they're doing music together. Who's that? Mm. Mabel's a little white boy that be with um, all the New York Joe rappers. Lil Mabel. Yeah, little You've seen him. Oh, Lil Culture yeah. Vulture? Yeah. yeah. And basically. then, um, but he be outside. He be outside with the all, niggas all, gonna all, be in all jail the Joe rappers. Couple <laughs> Yeah. What was that? He gonna, like, gonna catch yeah, a yeah, catch yeah. a Rico yeah, shit. Rap, fuck rap, with him. Yeah, he be up. outside with all of all all the drill rappers. That's what I don't get. Yeah. It's like how the fuck do you even get? How do you even get into that room? <laughs> like that a, sounds like a six yeah. nine part two. Yeah. Honestly, rap that money, man. It sounds mm-hmm. like a plant to me. Yeah. 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 I seen a video of him with like with like K Flock and all they do is like half of them are in jail right now. Like they all in the studio doing their shit, waving the guns, rapping, mm-hmm. making the videos, and he just back there. Fucking, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He's in private school. How would you even get in there? How would you even get in there? But nah, yeah, Mabel and, and I don't even pay attention to that. That's just like some stupid clown shit, bro. I don't even, I don't even pay attention to that. Weird. Shit. Cringy. Yeah. Mm. It's it's scary. Scary. The blue face of menace, bro. He a menace. He a nah, menace. I just think, I think, um, I, think a, I think he's, he's an abuser. I think that his think music was not really going nowhere, so he turned to. Yeah, you don't even, yeah. Yeah, it's, I agree. It, it's entertainment. But, but see, honestly, that's really. Keep the paycheck coming, you know? That's really hip hop in general, unfortunately, at this time. It's more about entertainment and It's crazy you can still call shit. him a rapper. Like bro, you don't even he doesn't even it's rap. about rap. You don't yeah. even rap. We are more in tune with what people got going on in their personal lives and we're actually are worried about their music. rap than their mm-hmm. music. Then when their music comes out, we're too busy judging them from the shit they got going on outside, just being human beings that we're not even giving the music a chance. True. That's and now and then we're gonna sit and complain that oh, uh, they're not the same anymore. It's like shit. Obviously, they done went through some shit, mm-hmm. so they're not gonna be talking or doing or rapping or making the same type of clothes anymore. I, I gotta, I gotta show you w- what I've learned, what's new and shit. Mm-hmm. But it's been more entertainment than anything else. So with that being said, Friday, man, let's 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 get some Kanye music. Hopefully, let's wrap it up real quick. We definitely Kanye listen to Vultures. We're gonna have to night. have an album, re- uh, a Vultures album review on the podcast, guaranteed. Should. But um, talk to him. I don't know. I'm not really excited for the album. We'll see. I'm definitely going to listen to it, though, but we'll see how it goes. No. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I know you're excited for it, though. I'm excited for that. And also, as always, free tour. I seen the picture of him in, in prison. Look, he looked in good spirits. Yeah, he looked like he was good spirits. His shoes is mad big. I see his shoes. <laughs> Man, for the biggest you got shit. shit took already? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna try. <laughs> they playing with Tori in there, man. You never know. Extortion <laughs> is real in prison. You know? Facts. But, uh, nah, man. Um, free tour. 
Chase, you got anything Phil. to say? What you got coming up? Uh, um, you know, we got the event coming uh, Saturday the 23rd. Yes, sir. Shout out to yes. Rent Stu. You feel me? Yes, what sir. matters? Shut the fuck up and create. Um, we premiering the commercial that we shot. You know, we just going to have a good vibe. You feel me? Christmas party, you know. Um, We're an ugly sweater. Yes, yeah, wear, you, ugly yeah, wear ugly uh, sweater. Most tell people they can follow, uh, find you at your website, your social media. Yeah, you can follow me. Um, you can follow the brand at What Matters uh, WM on Instagram, um, Facebook What Matters, uh, TikTok What Matters One. Um, you can follow my personal Instagram Chase What Matters on Instagram. Um, website What Matters WM. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming. Um, I'm excited for 2024. I'm claiming it as my year. Yes. Most deaf. Yeah, claiming now, it, baby. you know. I, so how do you uh, how do you spell the the what matters and everything? Yeah, so it's W H A T M A T T E R S for you know Instagram um, and the website W M. You know, just W M at the end. Um, for my personal Instagram, it's C H A S E W A T. M A T T E R S. Spell it, please. Spell it yes, out. Most deaf. Right, right. 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 Most deaf. No, I just want to make sure they be able to find you. you yes, know? sir. Yeah, yeah, man. Use sir. it in a sentence, please. <laughs> the country of origin. Can I get the definition? <laughs> <laughs> now, we definitely appreciate you coming out here, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Chase, all, all the love in the world, bro. Yeah, thank you for coming thank out you. to the podcast. Hell oh, yeah, bro. You're our first guest, it. probably over close to probably a year almost. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I'm coming. We didn't want anybody else to kind of kick off our guests other than you, especially since, like he said, Saturday, December 23rd, yep. first yeah, ever Rents Do Christmas yeah, Party. Man. It's going to be a movie, too. With a collaboration with What Literally. Matters Clothing. We're going to be premiering his uh, debut of his new commercial for his new collection. Mm. He's going to have some clothing for sale. Bring some Our money. girl Pam going to be behind the bar singing them drinks. Yep. It's going to be a good time, money. man. Buy bring some, some money to guys some drinks. Buy some merch. Wear your ugly sweater. Oh, yeah, bring a toy. We're doing a toy bring drive. A toy. Bring yeah. a toy. Donate to the kids because it's about the kids toy for Christmas. The less Definitely. fortunate. All the kids out there ain't got no toys donate to get for something. Christmas. Rents, you're going to give them a little tool, give them a little gift, a little donation. I'm excited for that. I've never done anything for charity, so yeah, that's first time donating for something, so I'm excited for that. So bring a toy. It's your boy, Greeny. It's your boy, Fats, bro. Trap. Trap. You already know, man. <laughs> Follow me everywhere. Trap <laughs> underscore RDF. Fuck this up every time. And we in the back. We got Pamela. We got Shamar. Jazz in here. Our boy, Light Skin Poppy, just pulled up. About to get an interview popping with him. December 23rd. Come see us at a Christmas party. Meet the Neighbors Podcast. Rent to Entertainment Co. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, tonight, oh. the next day. Ah, what the fuck was that? Was that? <laughs>